students, I have some terrible news. Wait, is this recording? Yeah. Oh, maybe I'm muted. Oh no. Maybe if I talk louder, can you hear me? Well, it's a recording, they're not gonna answer you. Maybe if I get really close. Oh no, maybe not that close. Okay, wait, I think that's right. Anyway, as I was saying, I have some truly devastating news. Our musical has been canceled. You guys have all worked so hard and I was so looking forward to our dress rehearsal. But now our production of Brushes with Greatness, the dental hygiene musical, will never see the light of day. I was so looking forward to the school seeing your interpretation of this great American classic. And I know they always say the show must go on, but in this case, it just can't. Oh, oh. Oh dear. Um, okay, I need to go. Um, I will check in with you all soon. Okay. Uh, here we go. Oh. Hello, Mr. Millette. Hi. Yes, I know the musical's been cancelled. What? No, the drama department can't shut down permanently. Look, I know we were supposed to raise money. No, look, we can't get rid of the hold. What a... I know... I do under... Okay, I understand. Th thank you. Okay, you too. Bye. <sighs> Wait, why is that still red? Hey, Siri, send video. Sorry, uh -oh. I can't send videos oh. for you. Hey, Google? Oh, wait, maybe, maybe this one. Calling all casting crew. Did you see that video? Whoa, Mrs. Cooper does not know how to use technology. We can't lose the drama department. We have to do something like Bob Flossie says. At, at the start of Brushes with Greatness. <laughs> We don't give up, we don't give in, we journey on, we rise again, although we face a greatest foe, we don't give up, yes this and all. We'll tell that black and ginger riders just to stay away, we'll brush your flesh together, we'll keep back the like the last part but you know what I mean let me know what you think hello fellow thespians I'm speaking to you all from inside my pantry where I retreated as soon as I heard the terrible news I decided to move in here and hide away from the world after all this isn't a musical theater so what's the point of going outside I'll live out the rest of my days nestled amongst my old lunch boxes my crackers my hydro flask from last year's production, Susical the Musical. I was great, Yertle the Turtle, wasn't I? Don't cry for me, fellow classmates. I'll be fine. I'll be here. Tweeting to Lynn Morrell Miranda and quietly humming to the score to Pippin for the rest of eternity. Good luck with the rest of your lives. So long, farewell, off Wiederson. Goodbye. Look, we can just crawl into our closets. We have to bring Brushes with Greatness to life and save the drama program. I have an idea. You know how we're sending videos to each other right now? What if we did the show online just like this? I mean, if you can order Ben Platt to use tissue online, you could totally do a show on... Not that anyone would order a used tissue on the internet. What kind of person would spend $40 on something like that? Totally ridiculous. I... Nobody would. I know I wouldn't. That... Yuck. All I'm saying is, you can do a lot online. We could film ourselves and then piece the scenes together to make a full musical. We could... <laughs> oh dear Evan Hansen, what have I done? Yes, that's a genius idea. Not the $40 tissue. That's ridiculous. But, a virtual musical is a great idea. We'll perform Brushes with Greatness a dental hygiene musical at home and stream it online. 
Check it out. I can do the opening number from my living room. Ever since I'm out the beard that had some teeth, there's been a silent battle just beneath. And who fights that battle? Well, you know them said to our heroes, Bob Flossie and Tommy. idea for how we could get Mrs. Cooper to agree. I wrote a little something. I'm not sure if it's any good, but maybe it could help. I don't usually perform my songs, but we have to save the drama club. So here goes nothing. <sighs> Deeply moved. I must admit, at first, Mrs. Cooper and I were hesitant. But after hearing that song, I say we go for it. And the show must go online. If you have any questions about your performance or about technology, please reach out to us. I have a Hotmail account. I have an AOL account. I'm very connected. You guys have inspired me and given me hope. So, let's begin with the dress rehearsal. Okay, Siri, end video. Uh, Siri, send video. Yeah, that's it. Mr. Gerald, how did they find out that the drama department was in trouble? I have no idea. Did you know that once I was in a performance of Cats? I was tremendous. Memory all alone in the moonlight. It's never sent. Siri, you troublemaker. Uh, Siri. So, oh, Mr. Delvecchio sings the cats. Good to know. Anyway, dress rehearsal. I was thinking since we're at home, we could get creative. Like we could, we could do some of the toothbrushing songs in actual bathrooms and the actual toothbrush and actual toothbrush. Check it out. This could be great for the big plaque battle at the end of the show when plaque is like. This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you around. I'm sick of dealing with your flushing, buzzing sound. And then the heels come to save the daylight. No, it's right Wow, that was some great tooth 
refreshing, amazing form, though I guess it was kind of hard to hear the lyrics. Well, we'll work on that later. I've been working on Plaque Song in the Great Gum Canyon all day. I think I figured out the perfect way to perform at home. We had some interruptions before, but we're all good now. This is C3 Take 6. being the best. I know this doesn't have anything to do with the musical, but I just want to show how cute she is. I mean, have you ever seen anything cuter than this face? That's it. Bye. So, back to the musical. It's your amazing costume designer here. Okay. Even though our costumes aren't the school, we can still get created at home. But as we discussed last week, our base costumes have to be black. No logos, no designs. Uh, yes, that includes your Olaf t-shirt, Evie. Let it go. Now, I have some suggestions for all of you guys. So now, listen up. For Tommy Tooth and my toothbrushes, all of you guys will have two hairbrushes and tape them to your hands like this. You see, it's really easy. Now the other hand. Simple. Oh, ow. Come stay on. No. Okay. Ugh. Once you have one brush there, it does seem to make it hard. Ah, for the second brush. Come on, just stay on. Ah. No. Ah. What? I don't want to see people now. Ah. Are you kidding me? Just hold it, okay. You could just hold it. Just hold it like so. <sighs> like you're a toothbrush with bristles. Okay. Then you can see me dance happily. Though I suppose you have to pick up something. Thanks for the costume tips. This next song is the emotional center of the entire story. The heart-wrenching moment when Tommy the Tooth apologizes. I've been practicing my expressions all day in the mirror, and I think I may have achieved an Audrey McDonald level performance. Now I just have to put it on film. 
but that's easy enough. Here I go. When you look at my face, you can clearly see I need you. When you look at my heart, you will understand my care. If you take a deep look into my eyes, you see a soul that never lies. My face, my heart, my smile, my teeth, my eyes. show you how to do some lighting design at home. For instance, you can turn switches on and you can turn switches off for a complete blackout. You can, if you have a light dimmer, you can turn the lights lower or brighter according to your preference. You could have some on and some off. It's all about what you want really. Um, if you have a lamp, you could simply say, Alexa, turn on my lamp. And uh, yeah, that's about it, folks. Um, good luck, I guess. Bye. Lights up, spotlight on me. As you all know, this next song contains the most important information in the entire musical, which is why I am demonstrating it for you. It's a big reveal and the stakes are extremely hot. If the audience misses this, the whole show will fall apart. We must not let that happen, so it needs to be extremely clear. Like so. As we ready for this battle, our big is about yet. I'm reminded of the hero who I never can forget. The one who makes the evil forces wince. And the name is Line. What's the line? Right, 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 I got it. Sorry. Well, I guess we'll never know his name, will we? <laughs> this is your stage manager here. We are moments away from showtime. Now, I would like everyone to stay calm, okay? We're going to be fine. Fine. I'm fine. Are you fine? I'm sure you're. His calm is contagious and I'm like, I'm totally calm. <laughs> you're all doing great. Really good stuff. But I do have a few tiny little notes before we get started, okay? Okay. One, find a quiet spot to record. Two, remember your lines, especially the important ones. Three, don't sing with a toothbrush in your mouth. I am begging you. Four, make sure the camera's pointed at your face when you're singing about your face. And five, for goodness sake, don't buy a $40 used tissue online. That's not about the show, but just don't do it, okay? Okay, we're about to go live. Now, Remember, this is just for family and friends, so there's no pressure. Just have fun and... Uh-oh. How is this possible? Is this real? Oh, it's real. Okay. Okay. <laughs> uh, some news. It looks like Kristen Bell heard about our show somehow. And she tweeted out the link to our live performance. And she's hosting a virtual viewing party. 
and over 50,000 people have RSVP'd. But that's totally fine, right? Right. Okay, places, it's showtime. Ah! Curtain up! Tommy Toothbrush, the legendary toothbrush, is that you? Who's asking? It's me, Bob Flossie, your old floss pal. I haven't seen you since the deep cleaning of 92 when you banished Haley Tosis. Haley Tosis? She was awful. You were legendary. That was a long time ago, Flossie. I don't clean mouths no more. I'm retired. But we got ourselves a plaque situation and nobody cleans like you. Plaque's too big for me now, kid. There's no hope. I give up. No, I refuse to accept that. We don't give up. We don't give in. We journey on. We rise again. Although we face our greatest foe, we don't give up. I'm in. Hey, it's me, Plaque, and I found the perfect place to live. This mouth is amazing. Look at all the tartar and buildup in this glorious gum cannon. Shh, do you hear that? No, that's because it's the sound of perfect silence and serenity. There's no toothbrush or floss in sight. And I'm totally certain they won't be hiding anywhere eavesdropping. Absolutely amazing! I like it, Q-U-I-E-T. Yes, quiet is the best for me. How I like the lovely hush. Away from the buzzing brush. Oh, ba la ba tra la ba shoo doo ba dee Quiet time for me. This is the best. I'm so glad I banished Tommy Tooth, Bob Flossie, and the most terrible mouth of all. He who must not be named. I like the food quite sugary. Yes, candy fills my heart with glee. Nothing like a sweet old snack to give a boost to good old black. That's me. Forget to floss, I'm the boss. Thank you for setting me free. It's quiet time for me. My name is P L A Q E. I mean, I'm working on a cavity. My favorite word of all's neglect. I strike when you least expect. Say yay to K every day. Cavity, cavity, we. Did you hear what Plaque just said as we were totally eavesdropping? Sure did, kid! So who is he who must be named? Sounds like he's our only hope at defeating Plaque. Do you know him? Do I? As we ready 
for this battle, our biggest battle yet. I'm reminded of a hero who I never could forget. The one who makes the evil forces win. And his name is Harold Prince. Harold Prince? He's caring, he is daring, he is everybody's friend. trifecta. You betcha, and we want you out of this mouth. Forget it, this is my turf now, and I think this tooth is ready for extraction, don't you? No, not the molar! This mouth is my domain now. I don't want you around. I'm sick of dealing with your flossing, brushing sound. Leave that tooth alone, never. Then it's time for battle. Come on, team. No roots will die in defying cavities. Kiss black goodbye to defying cavities. This tooth won't be pulled out. I won't go easily. And neither will my friend, Gingivitis. Oh no, there's two of them. That's right, and we're gonna wreck this tooth. Wait, please. You have to see reason. Beautiful. This mouth could be so beautiful. We know every molar and incisor could be clean. Boo, attack. Get him. We're fighting back to fighting cavities. So take that plow. Amazing. That was incredible. The best defying cavities I have seen since Adele Dezim made her great off, off, off Broadway debut. Yeah, you guys were amazing. Now, I want to thank you all for tuning in. It just means the world to us. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. Oh, okay. Um, Mr. Vecchio, can you close it out and I'll talk to you all soon. Oh, what do I do? <laughs> oh. oh. Hello? Oh, hi, Mr. Millet. 
Oh, you watched? Oh, they did. Oh, they do. <laughs> That's wonderful news. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. Of course. Yes, we'll be back next year with Greasy, the car mechanic musical. Okay, all right. Thank you so much. You too. Okay, bye bye. Still recording, hey? What is up with this technology? It's almost as if I left it on on purpose. Well, since we have you here, we would like to take this opportunity to thank you for all of your hard work and dedication to this production. Yes, even though you guys weren't together, you worked as an ensemble and created something really special. We are so grateful to be your teachers and we are so thankful that this show went online. Now, with every good film, always make sure you wait till the end of the credits. Wait, no performance is complete without the curtain call. You guys ready? Are the kids ready? I'm ready, let's do this. Good.